Hi oh, guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here on the planet in up the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York <coughs> on this gorgeous Saturday morning in the end times, August 3rd, 2019. Looking at the weather forecast, we are not going to see 80 degrees here uh, in, uh, in the first week of August 2019. Uh, it's basically the same temperature in, you know, Ithaca, New York, as it is in Greenland, I believe, uh, here on August 3rd. So I need to get out there and, you know, I got to do some laundry. I think I might need to mow the grass. I might go down to the farmer's market and whatnot. And of course, I need to bring you my uh, doomsday, we are so fucked headline of the day, which is an easy one to come up with uh, since it's the number two story on the planet. Speaking of Greenland, from good old ABC News, Greenland ice sheet loses 11 billion tons of water in one day amid historic heat. So I'm going to read that one and from CBS News today about the devastating wildfires in Siberia as Siberia, like Greenland, uh, roasts under a heat wave uh, that completely dwarfs upstate New York. But before I do that, guys, I just have to, uh, I have to check in with our Alert Tribes member, All Raw Paul, uh, for today's uh, comment of the day. Uh, you know, Paul, I, I just wonder, Paul, are you married? Do you have a, even a doomer chick in your life? Whenever I, you know, I would, I would never say that I actually feel any ray of hopium, but if, if I ever just have the tiniest shred of not being depressed down here in the doomosphere, uh, I can always count on all raw Paul to snuff out the tiniest glimmer of, of, of any sort of hope looking forward into in, to the future. And uh, all raw Paul is answering the question posed by this 14-year-old uh, <clears throat> that I mentioned uh, in Iran a couple of days ago, this 14-year-old asking the question, where will it all end? And this is all raw Paul for any 14-year-old looking into the crystal ball of their future. This is all raw Paul answering a 14-year-old's question, where will it all end? Take it away, Paul. <clears throat> Where does it end? It ends when all the ice caps and glaciers are gone. It ends when all of the permafrost on land and in the sea has melted. It ends when all the forests have burned down. It ends when the oceans are dead and anoxic. It ends when humans have driven all life larger than microbes into extinction. And it ends when sea levels have risen 230 feet. In other words, 
the earth will experience continuously mounting catastrophic overheating for approximately 200 years until the global average temperature is 40 degrees C higher than it is today. Anthropogenic, for you 14-year-olds listening to this, that means human-caused devastation will end when everything is burned to a crisp and when there is nothing left for humans to degrade, to devastate, and to destroy. Talking to the 14-year-olds, prepare yourself now to experience more and more depressing conditions every day for the rest of your life. To avoid falling into despair, do not repeat this mantra over and over again. Every single one of us is better off dead. It all ends in unimaginable horror in a nuclear radiation hell in the midst of a bioweapon bioshock in a fog of poisonous chemical gas in a World War III bloodbath running from out of control forest fires dying of disease poisoning thirst and starvation hunted attacked, captured, beaten, enslaved, humiliated, brutalized, abused, tortured, raped, slaughtered, butchered, roasted, and eaten by sadistic psychopaths who have made the natural transition to cannibalism. I am considering checking out well before the grisly end. Would that be cowardice or wisdom? So that is uh, all raw Paul's message to any 14-year-old looking up from their smartphone to ask the burning question, where will it all end? And with that, uh, I want to thank all Raw Paul for once again, uh, as I say, not that I had any hope, uh, but once again, I want to thank all Raw Paul for uh, at least having the all Raw balls to speak honestly with the fucked 14-year-olds on planet Earth in the summer of 2019. Could you imagine being 14 years old in the year 2019 and, uh, and looking into your crystal ball? Good God. Anyway... Hope that helped answer your question. I will be right back with today's two We Are So Fucked Doomer headlines of the day coming right up. Bye, guys.